What a story. A friend from our MIA Man in Action group just recently shared this story. His job is to deliver packages to private residents and businesses. Recently he brought a package to a customer. He knows this customer for now 20 years. When he came to her, he found out that she just recently received a new wheelchair. The um, customer is wheelchair bound and she got a new one and uh, somehow she wasn't happy with it and wanted to mail it back. So she asked our friend if he could take it back and he reminded her that the wheelchair has to fit in the box. So they tried to put it in but somehow the wheelchair didn't quite fit. So he went back, he went on his route and he felt not good that he couldn't help her. So he called his boss and told him that he had a challenge with this wheelchair not fitting in a box and his boss um, told him yes you did the right thing, you followed a company policy and you, uh, I get back to you, I have an idea. So now his boss called his supervisor and he shared with him what was going on and the supervisor says well you know he did the right thing but maybe the next day he can go and even if the wheelchair doesn't fit totally in the box you know, maybe he can bring it to the warehouse and some of the guys can make it fit. Okay, the next day our friend went back to the customer and he was surprised what he saw. The box, the wheelchair was in the box and it totally fit. It was sealed all properly. So what happened here? Our group member from MIA said, oh, it was probably FedEx, the competition that came to make it all fit. We all laughed. The wheelchair now fit in the box. What a story. Well, I was thinking that this is what happened with baby Jesus. When he came into our world, Jesus didn't fit. It didn't fit. The story is told that when his mother, uh, Mary, could not find uh, a place for to give birth in the inn, it was all filled. Jesus came into the world in a stable, surrounded by animals. When he was born, only shepherds from the field came and welcomed him as the savior of the world. Later, only three wise men from the east came to bring him homage. The rest of the world had no idea that God sent his only son into our world as an infant. Well, baby Jesus did not fit as the one who would save the world. He didn't seem powerful enough. People were expecting someone else to save them from the Romans. But then God got involved. And for God, nothing is impossible. God would make Jesus our Savior, our wonderful Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, our Prince of Peace. Child, Jesus was vulnerable. Jesus was a servant to all, but then God exalted him to be the most powerful human being who would forgive sin, heal, make things new, and who would even overcome death. God's love pressed Jesus on the world to change it with love. Christmas is the greatest gift God gave us that brings light and great joy to all of us. What a story. I invite you all to celebrate with us to hear again this great story. The children will tell it as they present their Christmas program on December 12th at our 9 a.m. worship service. We will hear it through the music and the readings at our Christmas festival on December 19th at 4 p.m. On Christmas Eve at 3, 5 and 9 p.m. the story will again be told. And on Christmas Day at 10 a.m. as well. We will be delighted to hear that great story once again. I'm deeply grateful to all of you who give so generously of your time, abilities, and resources to the work we do in this community. Together, we will continue to let the world know about this amazing Savior and how God makes it possible for Jesus to inform the stories of our lives. 
to help Christus Victor to continue to be a thriving congregation for God's mission and ministry in this community and beyond. Please prayerful consider if you can make an additional gift for year-end gift to support our ministry. I thank you so much. I wish all of you and your families a blessed Christmas. Your pastor Stefan